What if I told you the calories in, calories out model doesn't work? What if I told you that your whole life you've been chasing something that doesn't actually work? The law of thermodynamics is great, but it exists in a vacuum. You don't believe me? Get in your car. Pick a destination that's 100 miles away. Put 100 miles worth of gas in your car and drive to that destination. My money is on the fact that you won't make it. Why? Well, in the real world, there's friction. Friction when driving is wind, it's hills, it's bumps, it's getting behind somebody slow, it's going too fast. In the weight loss world, friction is your friends, your family, your sleep, your alcohol consumption, the quality of food that you eat. While calories in, calories out is a good guideline, unfortunately, too many people put stock in calories in, calories out. Not enough people will actually track their foods either, so it makes it a lot harder for us to lean on the calories in, calories out model. Unfortunately, you're watching this video because you're looking for those answers. But at the end of the day, the calories in, calories out model causes more harm than it does anything else. People become obsessed with their calories. Do I think people should track calories? Yeah, I do. Because it gives us an idea as to where we are. Unfortunately, the way that we're raised is if you put in a hard day's work, you get a hard day's pay. And I love that philosophy, but it's not the same for nutrition. If you decided to cut your calories this week, you may not see any weight loss by Friday. You may see a ton of weight loss by Friday. That's where the calories in, calories out model gets a little bit squirrely. For some people, the calories in, calories out model is perfect. For others, it's not. Over the course of these videos, we're gonna get into why some people see a composition change faster than others. For every scenario I present in the next few weeks, you're gonna have that one friend who defies that scenario. That friend and you don't have the same body. You don't have the same genetic makeup. You don't have the same physiology. I've had that conversation tons of times throughout my training career. Why does this person not have to do cardio? Why does that person get to lift heavy? Why does this person get to do this? It doesn't matter. They're not you. And until you start realizing that you are an individual, sound familiar? We tell our kids that. But when it comes to weight loss, we wanna be like everybody else. It's time to stop being like everybody else. It's time to figure out what works for you. In the course of my training career, what I've found is that some people need to eat more, some people need to eat less. Some people can't eat certain foods. So what's holding you back from your weight loss? But I can tell you the topics we're gonna go over. We're gonna go over your sleep. We're gonna go over what you're eating, how you're eating. Do you chew your food? We're gonna go through the things that you drink. We're gonna go through your hydration and how that affects your weight loss. We're gonna go through a lot of different topics. I'm gonna try and keep these videos short. This video, however, was not short. I want each one of these subsequent videos to have one logic question that hopefully you're gonna answer and then explain some facet of what's going on in your body. But for the most part, hopefully I'll be able to answer some of your questions as to why you're not losing weight. If you do wanna hear those things, come back next week.